Hey guys, Mohan Popeye here, and today I want to talk about my one simple productivity strategy. Yeah, let's get to it. So, hey, if you're new to my videos, my name is Mohan Popeye. I'm here sharing and documenting my journey in the last few years. I've been involved in more than 10 businesses, some seven figure businesses, some made me a lot of money, some lost me money. I'm here to share with you and document my journey, things that worked for me, things that didn't. And I'm here to also share with you the fact that you can buy an existing profitable business or you can grow your existing business by acquisitions, by buying other, other companies, and it's gonna cost you the same amount of money and probably the same amount of time as it is to get a new client many times to your business. Um, in my opinion, it's the fastest way to grow, and you can use the business assets as a leverage to pay for the acquisition, and this is what this channel is all about. If you're watching it on YouTube, subscribe, like, comment below. Go to mohanpaper.com forward slash quiz if you wanna get some more free value. Other than that, yeah, let's get to today's topic. So how can you put all your day into one page, one productivity page? To begin with, I think that if you have your day, uh, I guess, prepared in more than one page, you're doing something wrong. If you have a to-do list that is bigger than a full page, there's something wrong. Now, there's so many productivity methods out there. Uh, you get to have a to-do list, have a to-do list with this first and then that so many different options, so many courses and books about getting more productive. And I'll just share with you what I found that works best for me. So to begin with, I found out that using an, using an actual, using, using my English, an actual notebook, like a physical notebook works for me much better than just using notes in the computer. And I can tell you as someone who used his notes in the computer for a long time, there's something Literally, the, the energy is different when you write on an actual physical notebook and you, you are literally scratching your to-do list when you're done. There's something that, that, there's something different in the energy there that's got to make you literally do that in the end of the day. When it's all in the notes and like um, with, with uh, I guess, technology, in my opinion, it works less good as if you're using an actual physical notebook. So that's to, to begin with. Now, what I found out for me is that it's less about having more to-do lists. It's more about having less things to do, but that are actually going to move you more forward. So many times it means just having one big task for the day and just your goal for that day would be to complete that task no matter what. And that's it. And obviously it depends on the task and how much, how many hours you assume it's going to take you. Uh, but many times all I have is just like one good big task to achieve, right? And when I'm done with that thing, I know that, hey, when I'm done with that, I had a great day. So to begin with, I think the best question for you to ask yourself is what is the one thing that I can accomplish? And usually I do those things the day before. So like I plan my tomorrow today, basically. So when I'm ending my day today, I'm going to create my next day, basically, and literally imagine myself for the next day and think to myself, what is the one or just few things that I need to accomplish tomorrow? that will make me really satisfied with my day. And literally think to yourself, what needs to happen in the end of the day, in the evening, that I'll think back of the day and think, okay, what have I done? And what I what needs to happen for me to feel satisfied? And you'll see that it comes down to very few things many times, so just like few keys, key most important things that you need to do in order to achieve them. And then I just write them in the order of importance for me. And I do the first thing, I do the first thing, I complete the first thing and then I scratch it from my to-do list basically. And then I go back to the next thing and I do that. And I, do, I don't do anything until I accomplish those things. I don't look at anything else. I forget about my emails, forget about my phone, forget about anything. I'm only thinking about those tasks. And remember, it's all about completing things and achieving things and not so if you have like five things on your to-do list and then you do a little bit from that, a little bit from that, but you're not actually completing things and finishing things, I think that's a big, uh, I guess, problem that I see with other entrepreneurs is that they never complete things. And remember, done is always better than perfect. You don't need perfect. You need things done. Imperfect action is always better than not taking action at all. We, we, let's say with no taking perfect action so it's all about taking imperfect action and done is better than perfect you gotta complete things you gotta finish things that's the only way to move forward you can always go back and adjust and change but 
always move forward and change things. There's too much perfectionism in the world. People want to make things perfect, but being perfect in your head won't achieve anything. You got to go out there and implement. So that's that. Remember, have a to-do list, have the one thing you got to accomplish and finish things one at a time. And literally, guys, that habit alone, if you're going to be consistent with that, so it's all about consistency, right? Consistency. If you're going to be productive one day, but then the next 30 days you're going to do nothing, you're not going to do anything, um, nothing's going to change your life. Same, it's like working out, right? If you're going to work out one day and then 30 days you're just going to eat junk as much as you want, nothing will change, nothing will make better. So you got to be consistent. Every day repeat those things again and again. Like literally, if you will do everything every day, the one most important thing, and you're going to do it for the next year, your life is going to be different. I can promise you that. And feel free to come, come back to me after a year and tell me, you'll see your life is going to be different in a year from now. If all you're going to focus on is just a few key most important things in the day. And ideally, always expand them and get them outside your comfort zone and try to become better uh, every time. And you'll see your, your capabilities and the person you become is going to be a person that eventually can take on more things. So that's it for today, guys. If you want to learn how to buy an existing business or if you want to learn how to grow your existing business by acquisitions and you want to work with me and my team, we were involved in more than 300 deals and we basically saw everything. We can help you in the process and we can eventually invest in those deals with you as well. So, and that's our goal with this. We want to do more deals. So, yeah, if you want to learn more about that, go to moranpaper.com forward slash quiz. Other than that, if you didn't subscribe to the channel yet, please subscribe. It really helps me and like the video and hit the notification button if you didn't yet so you won't miss new videos. I'm posting videos daily. And yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.